What's up guys? My name is Bart and welcome to the Komar Project. So in my last video I finished installing the epoxy silver maple slab. And after about three weeks of working on it, once I install it, Honey Bunny says, Hey babe, there's something missing in this space. It doesn't look full. So now we're doing Live Edge slab shelves. Yeah. So we're going to be installing two shelves that are going to go right between the cabinets. They're going to be Live Edge, come from the same exact slab as the slab countertop. And we're going to finish it with Rubio Monocoat again. So let's get this project started and have some fun. So I'm using two pieces of three quarter inch and I'm gonna screw them together. This way, hopefully that bow that may be in one sheet of plywood will kind of even itself out once I screw two pieces together. Then we're gonna hot glue the slabs to the sled. That way, when it goes through the planer, we're gonna get a nice flat side and we can flip it over and get two parallel sides. Look at her! It looks so nice on her! Come here. Look what she got. Nice warm sweater. You know, it's summer's here, right? I know, but I just thought that these would be nice pajamas for cats. <laughs> pajamas. Yeah. Sweater pajamas. So this one, so this is for both Isco and Helena. Mm -hmm. Helena has one on the way that says security on the back. Okay. Why security? Because she's <laughs> what I live with. She's like, get this stupid thing off of me. That's what she wants. She's depressed. Of course she's depressed. She's like, Dad, it's like putting a Dad. blue condom on. It's a zoo. It's a bona fide zoo. Mine is the zebras. Get off my stuff. Just the, the, the house is insane. Can't even plain wood in peace. But I love it and wouldn't change it for the world. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me dumb 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 Oh yeah, like an arrow. See how it's wobbling? What we're gonna do is we're gonna shim it, hot glue it, keep it in place. It'll flatten this whole side. And then we can flip it and get it parallel. So now I have two perfectly flat on one side shelves, perfectly flat. And now all I gotta do is flip them over, run them through the planer, and then the two sides are gonna be parallel or coplanar. Coplanar? I think it's coplanar, but parallel. Yeah, let's stick with parallel because that's easier for me to say. to plane too much at once it's gonna get stuck in the planer and give you one of these this is no bueno yeah so we're gonna back it off a little bit and plane a little bit more all right so the shelves are completely square they are flat to each other and the next step is gonna be to remove the rest of the bark we're gonna do that with the wire wheel do some sanding and we're gonna finish and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the finish a little bit later but first let's clean these up completely and get ready for that step this is a soft wire wheel and screws right onto your grinder works awesome for this application this one's made by DeWalt but you can pretty much get it from any manufacturer
We haven't sanded this yet, but I'm gonna tell you guys what we're gonna do because it's gonna affect our finish. So we're using Rubio Monaco, and I actually was contacted by Rubio after I did the countertop upstairs in the laundry room. I sanded that up to 320, and they said, no, 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 Bart, it's not gonna bond right. But for this, we're gonna go with 80 grit on the orbital, and then we're gonna go up to 120, and our ply one step finish, which I'm very excited about, and I'll show you guys how to do that later. So enough talking, let's get to sanding. My favorite part about woodworking. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I love that sound. Time for finish. Hey, it's time to finally install the shelves and they're gonna go right behind me, so let's do it. Tell the people you love the show. You, no, come closer. Ew! So there you go, guys. The shelves are installed and they look absolutely fantastic. We're thrilled with them. They fill in the room much better, so the countertop that's above the washer and dryer now doesn't look all by itself. So it just makes the room complete. So if you guys like videos like this and want to see more of them, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming projects. And if you want to see the behind the scenes stuff, how I make these projects and all the shenanigans I get into, just go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I'm very active on there. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this experience. It was an awesome build. And I'll see you guys next time. Just stung you. <laughs> I stung her in the butt. Do not knock it, Thor. <laughs>